Jim, and I'm that old retired cop, Jack McLam, here with you. And we're talking about Senate Bill uh, 510. 510, folks. We've got to call our senators on this and literally tell them how the cows eat the cabbage, okay? Um, that if they vote for this bill that controls us, we can't grow at home, we can't grow our gardens at home. They want total control, as all communist nations do, of the people. And the best way to control the people, as communist Henry Kissinger said, is to control their food. If you can't get food, then you do whatever your enemy tells you to do. Okay? Okay. It, it is tied in deeply with Monsanto, too, folks. If accepted, it would preclude the, the public's right to grow, own, trade, transport, share, feed, and eat each and every food that nature makes. It will become the most offensive authoritarian program against the cultivation, trade, and consumption of food and agricultural products of one's choice. It will be totally unconstitutional and contrary to natural law, but they don't go by the Constitution anymore, folks, as you know. Or if you like, it goes against the will of God. That's Dr. Shive. Chopra, Canadian health whistleblower, and he goes on to say it is similar to what India faced with imposition of the salt tax against British rule, only Senate Bill 510 extends control over all food in the U.S., violating the fundamental human right to food. Monsanto says it has no interest in the bill, that's a lie and would not benefit from that. It's a lie. But Monsanto's Michael Taylor, who gave us RBGH, an unregulated gen, gen, uh, genetically modified GM food and organisms, appears to have designed it. Michael Taylor designed it and is waiting as an appointed Foods are by abomination to the FDA, a position unapproved by Congress to administer the agency it would create to control all the food in the nation. Without judicial review, if it passes, Senate Bill 510 would give Monsanto unlimited power over all U.S. seed, food supplements, food, and farming. In the 1990s, Bill Clinton introduced HACCP, Hazardous Analysis Critical Control Points, reportedly to deal with contamination from the meat industry. Clinton's HACCP delighted the offending corporations, World Trade Organizations, meat packers, since it allowed them to inspect themselves eliminated thousands of local food processors with uh, no history of contamination at all and centralized meat into their control, the World Health Organization. Monsanto promoted HACCP. In 2008, Hillary Clinton urged the powerful centralized food safety agency as part of her campaign for president, her advisor was Mark Penn, CEO of Burston Marstella, a giant PR firm representing Monsanto. Clinton lost, but Clinton's friends such as Rosa DeLauro, whose husband husband's firm lists Monsanto as a progressive client in globalism, as an area of ex expertise introducing early versions of Senate Bill 510. Senate Bill 510 fails on moral, social, economic, political, constitutional, and human survival grounds. Folks, that's it for this.
this report that I've been mailed, and uh, it's time to call our senators, folks, and literally uh, tell them that if they vote for Senate Bill 510, you will not support them in the next election. Absolutely will not support them in the next election if they vote for Senate Bill 510, because my wife's garden, my wife and I's garden, your garden, and anything we grow to feed ourselves, remember this, folks, that they are preparing, the communists are preparing for the mark of the beast. Remember, they put the mark of the beast, 666, in your forehead or your hand, the back of your hand. And uh, and if you have the mark of the beast, then you go to hell. Okay, that's what the Bible says that I read every night. Okay? And uh, so they're preparing that you can't buy or sell food or anything else unless you have the mark of the beast. And that's what this Senate Bill 510 is all about, preparing us for the mark of the beast. Okay? If they control and will not allow you to grow a garden at home and grow food for your consumption at home, then they control all the food in the nation, and that's what they're going after right now. And they control you, uh, okay? And so to support God, if this bill passes, you'll have to go to your death through starvation, okay? Because they're going to have the mark of the beast. If you want to go to the grocery store and buy food at the grocery store, you're you're going to have the have to have the mark of the beast. Okay. All right. So Jesse Ventura, governor of Minnesota, now former governor of Minnesota, tells us that he will not back off publicizing 9/11 views of the truth. On April 9, this editor uh, of American Free Press had the opportunity to speak directly with 